Students, even though migraine with aura is the lesser subtype of migraine, yet this aura has a lot of significance in patients who have migraine. The aura they experience could be in the form of visual aura, like for example, they may experience scintillating scotomas or palinopsia, or it could be in the form of a motor aura. Like for example, hemiplegic migraine, the patients may actually develop a transient hemiplegia before the onset of the migraine. Or it may be sometimes brainstem aura. Brainstem aura refers to patients experiencing vertigo. So the earlier terminology is vertiginous migraine or bacillar migraine are gone. Now the preferred terminology is migraine with brainstem aura. What are the risk of those patients who have an aura against those who don't? There is almost a two times risk for developing a cerebrovascular accident or a stroke, ischemic type of stroke. Sometimes a stroke may occur during the migraine episode, in which case it's called a migraineous infarction. And treatment wise, very important to remember, just because the patient who has migraine with aura is experiencing a typical stereotypical aura, you cannot initiate them on triptan straight away. Because if you do give them a triptan during the aura, it will not be effective. You need to wait for the headache to start. Yet, you need to give triptans as early as possible in migraine, but not before the headache starts, not during the aura. So this is about migraine with aura.